Here is my setup to test the sound card. So basically I have the output signal coming to the potentiometer from where it goes to the microphone. So with this uh, piece I can change the input level and the output level I can change using my uh, operation system. So here's the circuit. Uh, the purpose of this video is to test several audio amplifiers. Uh, for this purpose we're going to use two type, types of software. First one is a right Mark Audio Analyzer, the second one is a Room Equalizer Wizard. So on the screen you can see the Room Equalizer Wizard. Uh, the first task is to establish the limits of my sound card to have the baseline for the reference. So first what we do, we send the signal from the generator. So we can press this button, get the generator, choose the 1 kHz frequency and uh, start generation. The second thing, you look at the signal uh, using uh, this oscilloscope, basically the spectrum analyzer. So you have to press uh, this button, uh, right time analyzer, re real time analyzer, to see this graph. So uh, when you press the button, you're going to see the spectrum to appear. So on this spectrum we see 1 kHz peak. And now if we start playing this up in the we can decrease the signal. Yes, and this is the oscilloscope skin connected to the uh, audio input. So at this moment we have 0 0.4 volts. Uh, and now we increase the signal so 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 1 volts. And at this moment uh, we can note that on the spectrum we see that the second harmonic of uh, the generator signal is appearing. So it's a 2 kHz frequency, so the generator is 1 kHz and the harmonic, the second harmonic is 2 kHz and the third one is uh, 3 kHz. So now we see some signal there, so meaning that the system is not linear anymore. And if we go even higher... Okay, the, the software stopped the generation because it's detected that we have uh, distortion. The level of distortion is too high. We have the clipping actually. So we have this uh, turbo graph. It's plenty of harmonics. Because our microphone cannot handle this. So we have first, second, third, and so on. So from this we can conclude that the optimal level for the signal is around uh, 0.7 volts, so you cannot uh, exceed this voltage for the microphone. So you have to stay uh, below this level. At this moment, I would like to make sure that my data from the room equalizer wizard is actually consistent with the reality. So I have as a backup my oscilloscope the hardware oscilloscope to give me the same data. Uh, so uh, I have the oscilloscope connected to the output, to the input of my sound card. This moment I have 0 .0 0 0.5 volts of the input. And I have the uh, spectrum analyzer mode. So at this moment I see that I have the same spectrum as uh, I had from my software using my hardware, using my sound card as a basically as a hardware. In this case I have a separate hardware device which uh, actually the real oscilloscope. So I can compare those two uh, graphs. So again I have the 1 kHz frequency peak and then I have uh, some high harmonics in this spectrum. So why this is happening? Because the devices are not linear and the sound card is also has some uh, artifacts and so on. So the goal is uh, to find the range in which uh, the card behaves uh, 
as linear device as close as possible. So for, for this I have to uh, play with the input levels and output levels to establish uh, the voltages are not supposed to exceed. For instance, uh, I can use uh, basically the sound setup. I can increase or decrease the sound output and see where is the boundaries. So basically what I see that uh, it does not depend depends a lot on the output level. It can handle it's it well, but however if you look at the input level, I can change it with my uh, potentiometer on the uh, breadboard. So I can notice that if I exceed 0.7 volts, so the device is not linear any longer. See the number of harmonics are rising here. Oh, it's actually even clipped. So the number of harmonics are present because we exceeded 0 0.7 volts and became highly unlinear. Okay, so keep this in mind and we uh, make sure that we're going to stay in the range. Oh, it's pretty good. So I have first and second harmonics are uh, close to zero. Okay, I have to reset this one as well. So yeah. So now it's clean. There's a small third harmonic is present, but it's uh, it's quite close to the noise level. Okay. The next software I'm going to use is Right Mark Audio Analyzer. So the first step is to choose the number of bits and the bandwidth for the graphical card. So I chose 16 bits, sufficient for me, however I can go up to 32 bits. Uh, this is the number of bits for uh, analog to digital converter of the sound card. And the bandwidth, in my case 44 kHz, should be sufficient for the signal signals up to 20 kilohertz and uh, you can again you can go higher higher than that but i don't say purpose for it okay so after that you press pink to make sure that uh, all is fine and after that we can start testing so so the first thing i would like to look at the spectrum once again in this software so here is the spectrum uh, at this moment I have the flat spectrum because there is no signal at the input. So let's uh, uh, use the signal generator. 1 kHz once again. Okay, so here is the signal. And here is the signal as well on my oscilloscope. So I have this on the oscilloscope and the sound card the signal appear, appearing <laughs> and if I look at the second harmonic at 2 kHz uh, you know that it's almost close to the noise level minus 96 dB it's more uh, prominent on the real oscilloscope data for whatever reason uh, okay so this is good so we can play with the oscilloscope software oscilloscope as well but uh, the purpose of the software is actually to run a couple of measurements. For instance, we can use uh, total harmonic distortion measurements, the modulation, uh, frequency response, and so on. So for this, we have to press this uh, left button with the speaker to run the test. So again, we see the oscilloscope with uh, 1 kHz present. Uh, I switch my generator off, but this 1 kHz is present. And you see it's not constant, it's just appearing from time to time to give us the reference. So we can uh, play with the setups such that uh, we're going to have the, the, the right input and output levels. 
So at this moment it's all fine. So I can start uh, the test. So test test is running. So we can see that progress is here, and we also look at the oscilloscope, what it does. Oh, it's moving. Frequency sweep. So again, it's going to test the total harmonic distortion by setting one kilohertz and looking at the harmonics of, of in the spectrum. Also, it's going to use the intermodulation basically by setting two tones and looking at the uh, difference frequency. And it's going to use the sweep to establish the frequency response of the sound card. Okay, so here is the sip. So we have the peak moving. Okay, so the results are ready. Press the OK button. And the total harmonic distortion is 0.00. .00 Five nine percent. It's pretty good. It's uh, well. It's pretty good. We can look at the graph. So here is the graph. So we see the one kilohertz peak. We can choose different frequency in the setup, and then we see the second harmonic minus ninety dB. Third harmonic is very small, fourth harmonic is at source minus 96 dB, so it's almost untraceable, close to the noise, close, close to noise level. So this is the peak, this is the first harmonic, uh, fourth harmonic, uh, first, second, third harmonic, and so on. So the, the level is pretty good, minus 96 dB. Okay.